how did you get that shot up on the glass and spin that thing in, for starters? Um, my teammates tell me all the time I can't jump over a phone book, so, you know, the best thing for me to do is just, uh, you know, try to get up as high off the glass because I'm not jumping over nobody, so I guess you could put it that way. Nah, the one he had in the first half, he told us his head was about to run. <laughs> his word on the felt like it. <laughs> Arthur, you guys are down 41-30 right before you make that 11-0 run. What was kind of said in that timeout just before that? Uh, I mean, what was the time on that? What, how much time you was that? down 11, and the coach called timeout right when they went on oh, that run. Oh, right when it started the second half? Yeah. We just had to settle into the game. You know, I feel like we always come out on the second half and we're a little flat, so we just had to, you know, really settle into the game, stick to our plan, and get back to our principles. And then when you got a shooter like TP who could create all his own shots, I mean, it's easy, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like we fought back and we played a good half of basketball. Cam, it was a short turnaround from Saturday. Were you guys just quickly able to dismiss that loss and just get right into this one? Yeah, we had to. <clears throat> you know, it's a rivalry game, but, you know, it's, we lost, what, four in a row? And, you know, this one was important to us. And, you know, we had to lock in. We had a lot of preparation and, you know, a short amount of time. And we was focused. And we knew it from the jump that we was going to win this game. Arthur and Tyler, this is your first experience with this rivalry. Just talk about the intensity on both sides. Nah, it was, it was a fun environment to be in. I feel like, you know, our fans did a very good job of, you know, packing it out, creating an environment, setting the mood for the game. And, I mean, Kansas is obviously a very good basketball team. So everybody was excited to play, and I feel like we went out there and we had did what we had to do in order to get the win. Um, <clears throat> I've been blessed to be able to be in two Kansas rivalries now, um, Independence and Coffeeville, and now this one. But uh, there's nothing like this. Uh, the way these fans interact, um, they were outside at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've never seen nothing like this in my life. And, you know, I'm blessed to be – you know, in the purple and white, and i um, just so thankful they showed up and showed out for us, and uh, it's a blessing to be part of this rivalry, and, um, you know, this is one you, you know, you'll be able to tell your kids about. Cam, last year you guys celebrated with everybody coming onto the floor, and this year you guys went to the fans. How did that make the celebration a little bit different? Uh, we're used to winning. We're used to this, and it's going to be a lot more of it. And uh, Tyler, um, I meant to ask this after last game, but your second half scoring is just on an incredible tear right now. I think 18, 20, whatever it was tonight, 21, I think, after halftime. Just what is it that kind of goes on that makes you, uh, I don't know, see the bucket better there after halftime? My teammates, um, I can't put it nowhere else. Uh, they just, they tend to find me. Um, and they find me in the first half too. Um, you know, there's no science on it. It's no fairy dust to it. It's just, you know, just you got to stay uh, over the course of 40 minutes, you got to stay into the game. We got to stay locked in, and um, you know, just let I, I try to let the game come to me. And I have such amazing group around me, who you know finds me in my in my spots that I like, and uh, you know they just keep me going. And so when you have a group like that around you, they just they just continue to bleed confidence in me. So you know they just make the game so much easier for me. For anybody, uh, six overtime games now, haven't lost one of them. Is it becoming a point of pride? You know, obviously you want to win all the games, but at this point you just don't want to break the overtime streak a little bit. Is there any feelings like that at all? No, because Coach Tang tells us all the time he doesn't get paid overtime. So um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not like what y'all think. <laughs> we, um, you know, we try to get the job done in 40 minutes, but um, <clears throat> this team is so resilient. And, uh, you know, we preach toughness. And so... Um, the extra five minutes, we do that every day in practice. And so, uh, you know, hopefully we can stop getting playing with playing with fire. Tyler, did you feel like people were counting you guys as a team out heading into this game? And then on top of that, did you feel like people were counting you personally out? Um, I try not to worry about it. Um, you know, I see, we see what people say about us. But at the end of the day, we know what we have and we know what we're capable of in that locker room. And so um, I can't sit and worry about what people say about me. Um, Coach Tang has told me and the rest of our team all year, the work is going to show. And so uh, all you can continue to do is show up. And that's the first thing. That's the first step to winning is showing up. And I think this team is going to continue to do that no matter what happens. We believe we're a tournament team and that, you know, we can do damage when we get there. And if we got 12, 13 guys who believe in that and the rest of the staff, uh, you know, anything is possible. And for any of you guys, what was the message from Coach Tang after this one? That this is what we're supposed to do. 
and he he honestly said that we could play better than we did. So uh, that's just the type of person he is. He always believes you can do so much better, uh, and he believes in us so much. And he he just he instills so much confidence in us throughout the whole team. And um, you know we're blessed to have the best coach in America. And uh, I wouldn't want nobody wouldn't want nobody else running the show for us. And so uh, like I said, I, I speak for everybody when I say that I think we're super blessed to be under a guy like that. Any of you guys can ask this. I know talking with some students outside, they really wanted to storm the court. I know Coach Tanks did expect to win. It's kind of a fun question. Anybody can ask it. Were you hoping they were or hoping you, they weren't? It's, you know. I wanted them to experience I ain't gonna lie, it. I was. Yeah. I wanted them to. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was cool with them. Coach Tanks made me mad. I wanted to do it. <laughs> and now, Tyler, one last thing. You said after the Oklahoma State game, you guys got to play together or more together. Do you feel like you guys did that tonight? Absolutely. I think we regrouped um, yesterday <clears throat> as a team, and um, we came together in, in 24 hours. And uh, like I say, anything is possible when, we, when we're playing together. And um, I believe in these two guys next to me so much. And um, I think we're starting to believe in each other. And when you get that type of camaraderie and uh, just continue to believe in each other, there's nothing you can't do. He didn't score tonight, but, but how impactful was Jarrell Colbert for you guys? Said what? How impactful was Jarrell for you guys tonight? He's plus 18 on the on the box score. That is insane, and and didn't score a bucket. Like anybody that has an impact like that, um, Dave also had five points and was plus 19. Like when you get guys to do stuff like that and just buy into to their roles and buy into this team, like I said, look out, the sky's the limit. All three of you guys scored in double figures tonight. Is that maybe the simplest winning formula when all three of you guys just get going? <laughs> yeah. Um, on any given night, um, any I feel like any one of us can get going. And um, when you got all three of us going like we, do, like we were tonight, I think we're a very tough team to beat. But, you know, we don't get going without plus 18 from Jarrell or plus 19 from Dave or, you know, Will coming in and doing what he's doing. Day day playing valuable minutes. Like, it's so easy for us to take credit, but we just have such a, such a great group around us. They make it easier for us. And, um, you know, we've preached that all year. And so, you know, our job is to make it easy for them and vice versa. And so we just, you know, try to do that every night. Nah, a win is a win. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. Any guesses what Aggieville is going to be like tonight? I wouldn't we know. Wouldn't know. <laughs> well, yeah, now we. No idea. My bag gonna feel good though. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Any other questions for these guys? Okay. Thank you guys. Oh, he had one. He had one. Oh, sorry. Right. Offensive rebound had been a concern, and I think. You only gave up seven today. Uh, how big was that, just keeping them off the offensive glass? Uh, we knew we had to limit them to one shot, you know, to win this game. Uh, pretty Like every team, we got to limit them to one shot. And uh, I feel like in the future, we got to build from this. And Tyler, that offensive rebound <laughs> basket at the end there, how did you – how did you manage to come up with it in, in That's the with 40 inch the trees? we've been talking about. <laughs> the 40-inch vert. Um, no, nah, I just, you know, try to play hard, and uh, the ball fell right where I needed to, and I'm taking that one. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite? Sorry. I'm 27. Any other questions for these guys? Thank you. Thank you.